So I've got these three diagonal braces on and you can really hear a difference now in how the top vibrates. Now what's left is to put the three support braces on that really counteract the, the tension in the top induced by the strings. Um, there will be two up here and one down here. This, this lower brace is curved to the same radius as that 28-foot uh, dish. So I'll glue that one on first. All the braces are on the soundboard. Still need to do a little shaping on these big structural ones, but it's time to start fitting these pieces together. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is shave down this part of the, the neck extension, um, because when the guitar is assembled, of course, I want the soundboard to be on the same plane as the top of the neck. So I have to take a couple millimeters off of this part so that the soundboard can actually sit down level or you know on the plane of the neck. The way I'm going to do that, I've got this saw with a, an adjustable depth stop. And I'm just going to make some, some saw cuts as kind of a, a reference point. And then I can chisel away the rest. But these saw cuts will, will ensure that I don't go too far down and that I just remove enough wood to get the top of the soundboard even with the top of the fretboard or the, the top of the neck. So now the sides will fit into the heel slots just like this. Um, I have to put a little shim right here to keep, I want the sides to stay down at the level where the soundboard will be. I don't want them to come all the way up to the top of the neck because then of course I couldn't glue the soundboard on and have it flush. So I'll make some little spacer to put under there and then clamp the neck to this scrap of wood where I can keep the, I have the center line marked so I can have the neck and the sides lined up perfectly. And I also will make some small wooden wedges to stick on the inside of, of where the neck and the sides come together. And those wedges will just help keep, help keep the sides pressed up against the heel so I don't have any gaps there as the glue dries. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the both sides of the sides. And it really doesn't take very much, just enough to, to hold everything in place. I'll put more on the wedges. Just like that. So I'll trim away any excess wood from the wedges um, after the glue sets. I've got some squeeze out showing on the outside so that's really what I'm hoping to see because it means I won't have any gaps between the side and the heel. And then by uh, I didn't mention this, but by controlling how far in this wedge goes, the second one that I put in, I can, I can make sure that the center line of the back lines up with the center line of, of this work board. Um, so that's that. I'll just let this sit for a while, then I'll be ready to fit the top to the sides. <laughs> 